I'm always excited to go through a ride. I think you've learned that over. If you've watched my channel, you do. I think you've learned that over the years. But I'm always more excited to go through a ride when I've got some new kit. Now, here's the truth. Right? I've done it before and I'll do it again. And I even know what to expect this time. It's the Quare Buckland jersey. It's a new colour, that's basically it. But it's my uh, preferred indoor training jersey, which is all I've been doing for three months, riding inside. But it's also the jersey I love to wear outside, so it's a winner. It's a winner on every level, and it's a different colour, so exciting. All right, ready for the unbagging. Another sip of coffee. And the top. Mm. I thought there was some left, but nothing. I also asked Quarry for some socks, and I asked for some white socks, and the reason is this. Yeah? I bought them up before, and I think I'm going to bring them up again, and again, and again, because I really like them. So Super Caz shoes, on review. Got them from Pushies, and they suit me really well. I had a cleat adjustment session the other day, which I found really interesting, and I just wanted to get some matching socks, or some socks that match the aesthetic. In other words, not dark socks, and all of my ride socks are dark. So, let's start with that, shall we? Quarry socks, beautiful. These are called um, TBE Fade 20, okay, pretty simple. And they're just socks, you don't really need a detailed weigh in or anything. But um, ta da da, tailor fit, quarry, absolutely fantastic. And bloody beautiful. So there's my fade, and that's that. They should look quite good on. I won't bore you with the fitting, but I'll show you to you when they're good to go. Next in line, arguably, well, it's one of my favourite cycling products for the last season, that's for sure. Um, good pair of nicks, never goes astray. So I've got two pairs of these already, these are the Bucklands, and they've been seeing a hell of a lot of washing machine action. Like, more washing machine action than you care to consider couple of things about nicks. Let's do it again. Always wash in cold water. Always wash after a ride. Never two rides in a row. Ideally wash in a wash bag and hang with the chamois not facing the sun. I mean that's an old habit from the goat skin days but I'm just going to give you a little close up of the material because it is beautiful and I know this is going to hold me in good stead as I sweat my ass off on the home trainer. So I've been riding small, which is what the label says, and that is a beautiful fitted bib. And um, there's panelling everywhere, and um, it's really worth doing a close examination of your chamois and your nicks before you buy them, and making sure that that's a suitable arrangement. And that from experience, I know, is an extremely suitable arrangement. I have some nicks which I really like, but the gripper just doesn't work for me, for one way or another. The, um, the Quarry uh, gripper, which I'm about to show you, is about as good as it gets. Like, it's, it's sticky, it's tacky, but it's not um, violently grippy. It does actually feel quite sticky right now. Um, and it's... I don't know what that measurement is, I would say near on it an inch and a half, like if you cull out the, the stitching area, I would say you've got a little bit of an inch and a quarter on your leg. I've had some which is a little bit less than an inch and it just seems to hold a mark. I've had some that's about that big and you know who I'm talking about Matt. And um, I don't mind that, it's actually really nice, but in the indoor trainer it's not ideal. So, my Nick review, I don't know if they've got a name, I will check, they're the Buckland Collection. Size small, totally amazing. So I'm um, highly, 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 highly recommended. Uh, almost the last piece in the Quarry puzzle for today. Almost, almost, almost. There is more, but this is, um, I'm, if you watch this channel, I think this is what you're gonna see a hell of a lot more of in the coming days, weeks, months. So I've got a purple one of those. It's terrific. Um, it's got, similar to what I was talking about with the Nyx, it's got this beautiful gripper on the back. Actually, that looks a little bit bigger than I'm used to. And that just um, means that it holds your jersey down nice and snug on your back. 
It has a, a really neat and easily accessible right hand pocket zipper uh, with a side entry. You see I'm not getting all of that. I've got it all right. Like it's for me it's ideal because I'm right handed and that's where I like to plug the phone and it can go in there and it's a snug fit and it doesn't have the risk of popping out. I'm not sure about that blue on the green. I understand what they're trying to do but it doesn't really float my boat. Then just some detail of the stitching because it's bloody beautiful. First of all I know from experience that the, the sleeves are hemless at the end and um, now that's my go-to design and then you see some of the stitching. This material is the bee's knees if you ask me. Probably makes you go more aero or go quicker because it's aero but um, I just think it looks good and um, what it does for wind deflection is sort of a bonus really. Anyway, Quarry, that's my kit. I did say there was one other element to the puzzle and that's this. It's modern times, 2021. Get with the program, Rob. So it did. Ta-da. Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da. Simple, honest, easy. And, oh, look. Oh, they're always thinking of quarry. Little adjustable sliders. Oh, my son will love that. That might be his face mask from now on. Isn't that handy? That's a good thought. Oh, that is a ripper fit. Okay. And then you can just adjust it like that. How good's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, super. Oh, I'm saying all of these things because you can't lip read anymore, can you? Alright. I'll get dressed, you'll see what it's like, and then I'm going to ride and then probably talk a hell of a lot more because that's how I roll it.